right. Taking a full look at weather tonight, Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca. I think I saw some drizzle earlier today. Drizzle, sprinkles, yeah. raindrops, snowflakes, hailstones. <laughs> I hope waffle. I didn't miss the snowflakes out there. Well, no, I mean, the snow was up high, uh, mostly above around 3,000 feet in elevation. We did have some. You might have seen in some areas some snow pellets or grapple. It's like soft hail. It looks like dipping dust. There was a report of hail in the... Uh, Gabalin range today, okay. but I think based on where the clouds were and where the freezing level was, it's most likely that that was snow pellets. So yeah, interesting weather types out there today. Tonight, most of that activity has come to an end. There are still some showers in San Benito County. Moving actually to the west toward uh, the central Salinas Valley. So Soledad in a half hour or so, you might get a light shower out of it. But things mostly calming down out there late this evening. So we take that live look from Domenico's on the Wharf. Otherwise, Still looking partly cloudy. There is an area of low pressure basically sitting right overhead right now. You can actually detect that counterclockwise spin of low pressure. Off to our north there, a very cold air mass. Look how cold the temperatures are in northern Nevada here. One degree currently in Elko, 17 degrees in, in uh, Reno, Nevada. So that whole Interstate 80 corridor, pretty chilly up there and already getting chilly in Northern California as well. A lot of this cold air gonna settle in here across the West and make for some cold mornings over the next couple of days. Now, the only uh, thing that's working for us right now is we do have some clouds and at least in the South, that'll probably keep a blanket over things for us. But notice maybe it's still a few more showers out there across Southern Monterey County tonight, uh, but mostly coming to an end. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Looking at a mostly clear start to the day, maybe just a few southern clouds. Now during the day tomorrow, I'm expecting mostly sunny skies. We'll probably see some little cumulus clouds over our mountains, but that is about it. And you think, oh great, oh the sun's back out. It's going to be nice and warm like it was a couple of days ago. And boy, wasn't it nice a couple days ago? We had temperatures in the 60s, even close to 70 degrees. I think Coralito said 72 on Thursday or Friday. I think it was Friday afternoon, 72 in Coralitos. Man, that felt good, didn't it? But tomorrow is going to be a different story. Temperatures are on the cold side. In fact, the next couple of mornings, nights, mornings are going to be pretty chilly. The National Weather Service has issued a freeze warning for the Santa Cruz Mountains, the KIO and coverage area in Santa Clara County. Also, uh, the entire Diablo Range, Gabalin Range and southern and southeastern valleys in San Benito and Monterey counties, respectively. So freeze warning. And then a frost advisory for the lower elevation valleys in San Benito County and then back toward the coast. So we'll talk about the temperatures I'm expecting here. We can talk about whether it's going to freeze in your neighborhood or not. So we'll go first to the Santa Cruz Mountains where I'm expecting temperatures to dip below freezing in the valleys, getting into the low 30s overnight. There's a lot of moisture in the air still with this system, so that will increase the amount of frost development. So I expect it to be a pretty frosty uh, morning in the valley bottoms by tomorrow morning. On top of that, if you did get any rain today or if there's still water seeping across the roadway from the recent heavy rainfall we've seen over the last month or two, black ice is a concern tomorrow morning. So be extra careful on the on the road tomorrow morning. If your car has one of those thermometers, they're not always the most accurate, but chances are if it's in the low 30s and especially if it's showing you in the 20s and you see a wet patch of road, it might be ice, so be careful tomorrow morning on that way to work. 55, if you're high in Santa Cruz tomorrow, could even see some patchy frost down to the coast in those coastal cities tomorrow morning. Watsonville down to 30 overnight. It's going to be very chilly there. 56 for your high. 57 topping out in Salinas, mid-50s in Hollister, but low to mid-30s for our lows tomorrow morning. Well, it's certainly frost in our northern inland valleys and patchy frost toward the coast. Even the Monterey Peninsula may see a little frost tomorrow morning, mid-30s for your lows, highs back in the mid-50s tomorrow afternoon. And usually we show you those ultra cold temperatures down south, but since you're more likely to see clouds, it won't be quite as cold. Bradley, for example, 34 overnight. Highs back in the mid-50s so tomorrow afternoon. But what if I told you tomorrow morning isn't the coldest of the next seven days? Well, I'm going to tell you that tomorrow morning isn't the coldest of the next seven days. It's going to be Tuesday morning. The National Weather Service also has a freeze watch for the entire coverage area during that period. I think on coastal areas will probably be about a degree cooler. So if you're frosty tomorrow morning, you're probably going to be frosty again Tuesday morning. And maybe if you're not frosty tomorrow morning, you might get a little frost on Tuesday morning. It's just going to be a little bit cooler on the coast. Beyond that, a slow warm up. Highs are turning to the 60s on average by Wednesday and Thursday. A couple of weather systems on the way through, one on Friday, one on Sunday. Neither of them look all that impressive, but some light precipitation will be possible. Inland areas looking much colder, especially in the south on Tuesday morning, and then will slowly warm up as well. Highs back in the 60s, Wednesday, Thursday, low 60s at that, but the lows will improve by then. We're watching those rain chances Friday and Sunday. At the moment, they don't look like 
any major hazards, but we'll be keeping an eye on it, Veronica. Okay, thank you, Dan.